What is the biggest question that you still have on AstraZeneca, and it, was it answered or not? Um, uh, uh, hi, Vani. Oh, no, unfortunately, he did not answer it. And that is, why do you see a difference between these <coughs> two so-called cohorts of patients, ones who had half a dose and a full dose, and then the others who had a full dose and a full dose? Why, why did you see better effect in that group? We can speculate, and the company can answer that question by studying blood samples from the patients. But they need to answer it, because until you know why this is happening, you can't go and make a viable case that it's a real effect and that it's not just some statistical fluke within the different groups. And as we get more data, we'll be able to understand more. So I'm completely with the company what, they, what um, uh, Ruth Dober said, and, and let's wait for the full data. Uh, why did we get the announcement today? Is it because you released vaccine data on a Monday? Uh, th that conversation seemed to imply that we're going to get more data, possibly by the end of the week. Exactly. But, uh, you, uh, Guy, did you miss that um, announcement that was made globally that vaccine data has to come on Mondays and then, then you can <laughs> give it? No, but I mean, ah, I, have yeah, no, sorry. I have no My idea. I have, I have no idea why. If you know you're going to have better detailed analysis, why you put this out and create this sh shenanigans, for want of a better phrase. I, I don't understand it. We all, and you know, they very quickly came out with further analysis. I, maybe it's just everybody needs to give people a little hint of how their vaccine is doing as soon as they can. Uh, Sam, What's the next thing you're going to be looking for? I feel like it's really hard to keep track of who's what, where, when, and like what approval's coming. What's going to be the next catalyst? Because markets just seem, each time we get a new rollout of some good news or some news, the markets just keep responding less and less and less. Yeah, so, I, well, that, that, that's natural, right? We've kind of been a bit spoiled by this 90 or 95% efficacy in the Pfizer and Moderna trials. But let's just not forget one thing that Astra's done that's really great in this trial. And that's a bit of data that I'd love to see. And that is they, they did weekly testing of their subjects. So you'd be able to tell not only how this vaccine, however level of efficacy it had, impacted the disease, but also how it impacted the infection. Do the people, 70%, 60%, 90%, whatever the number is, who are not developing COVID-19, are they also not infectious? That's a critical piece of information that we will not get at the minute from Moderna and Pfizer. And then the next one, of course, is the phase three trial for Novavax. That's the one we're looking forward to. That should report end of this year, early next year.